All right, now for 8Q Price of Mangoes. This is by Arctic, Arctic, and 88% uh, of the people like it. There's a three for two, or two plus one if you like, offer on mangoes. For a given quantity and price per mango, calculate the total cost of the mangoes, all right? So if you got three mangoes, it's gonna be $6, because two mangoes for three, and then you get one free. Nine, you get, uh, it's gonna be 30 bucks if it's $5 a piece, excuse me, yeah, $5 a piece. That's an expensive mango. Is that how much mangoes cost? Yeah, 14 cents. Anyway, whatever. Is that real? Anyway. Yeah, that's an expensive mango. Anyway, whatever. So, uh, yeah, where were we? Anyway, so we're just going to do this. So let's set up over here first. And, I mean, this is a pretty easy one. First, we're going to say the quantity, excuse me, the price. And we're going to multiply that by the quantity, obviously. But we, then we have to subtract the free ones, right? So how do we do that? Uh, naturally, it'd be whatever quantity divided by three, you know. Uh, because, I mean, if you divide this by three, you get one free. You divide this by three, you get three free, whatnot. And if it was ten you'd get three free and then you pay for the tenth one, right? So to do that, we're going to say uh, quantity minus quantity divided by three. But that's going to get us a... Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, yeah. But that's going to get us a... Oh. No, that's not right. It couldn't be. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, that's going to get us something like this. It's going to get us some decimals. So to get rid of that, uh, all we got to do is use this math.floor right here, which uh, the math.floor function returns the largest integer less than or equal to a given, given number. So 5.95 is 5, 5.05 5 is 5, 5 is 5, and then 5.05 is, excuse me, negative 5.05 is 6, you know. We know how negatives work, so I don't think I need to explain that. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this up in some more parentheses. All right. And then we're going to say math.floor. And that should take care of business. And it did. Awesome. All right. So we very like this one. My solutions, best practice, and we'll see you next time.